Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to excuse my voice. Your boy went out and sang karaoke last night for my buddy's birthday. But what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? YCS Dortmund has literally just now wrapped up at the time of me filming this video. And uh, yeah, Rika Sun Avalon won. The finals were Rika versus Vanquish Soul. And it was actually kind of funny watching this match because it was pretty quick in the sense of modern Yu-Gi-Oh! standards. And I think that this match is like a perfect template to show people this can potentially be what a modern Yu-Gi-Oh! match looks like. Uh, Rika Sun Avalon player won the die roll, opted to go first. He pops off game one, Vanquish Soul scoops. We go to game two, Vanquish Soul player goes first. He pops off and uh, he basically wins because of TC Boo. And then they scoop. Rika player bricks game three, sets two back row. The Vanquish Soul player does some plays, ends on a rock Vanquisher and Zeus. One of the face downs that the Rika player had was the trap card that can stop a monster from activating its effects. I don't know, Rika. It's a big-ass combo deck. I don't know how it functions. It's very popular in Europe, though. That happened, and then the Rika player proceeded to pop off like 10 minutes and play the game. And uh, the Vanquish Soul player drew for turn and scooped after getting hit with a thrust, which led into a talents. Then talents getting the Stake Your Soul spell. Uh, I'm sorry. The Yeah, the Stake Your Soul spell getting hit, and then a Rise Harvest in his hand. He drew for turn and scooped. Um, pretty quick whenever you summarize it in that regard. But the most represented deck in the top 64 of this event, believe it or not, was Tier. Now, was it by like a big margin, like 30% compared to like 10% and everything else? No, it was 16%, uh, which was not that big compared to everything else, like 15, 14, 13% as you went down. So it kind of makes me wonder, moving into post Age of Overlord, are we gonna see Horus Tier Element pop off and become an actual meta threat because that's something that a lot of people have been messing with with the Horus cards since we don't get Centurions until a few weeks after Age of Overlord in Valiant Smashers when the Horus deck can kind of come into its own with the Centurion monsters. Uh, people have been messing around with Horus tier element um, but it's it's kind of hard to say at this point you know if I remember correctly this is the last YCS before Age of Overlord I could be wrong about that because Age of Overlord really will change things you know we get the Horus support people are gonna be messing with that um, we get the Dia Bellstar stuff um, which adds on to the other sinful spoil cards that we're getting and plus with the sinful spoil spell that we currently have so it's going to be interesting to see how the game evolves compared to this YCS but it's still interesting to look at across the pond, especially if you're here in the US or Canada, wherever, and see what it is that's going on in Europe. Because for whatever reason, Europe loves their Rika Sun Avalon decks. I'm not sure why, and I don't know why it hasn't taken off here in the TCG in regards to like the US and Canada territories. Um, because the deck is good, especially if you don't know what it does, it can really pants you. And it's interesting to see how other decks in Europe can do well compared to here in the States or by extension Canada, where Rika Sun Avalon is acknowledged as a good deck, but it's not winning all these events or doing well at as many events compared to Europe. So I think that that's just interesting to see how like the OCG has its own game and we can see how things are doing there. And then you can also compare it to Europe and then compare it to the US and Canada and how like almost all three of those regions have a different game and a different meta. It's very interesting in that regard. But overall, the event seemed to be ran really well. Um, other than that, there's not really much to report. Like, Cash Tira was nowhere to be seen because Arise Heart is gone. So I think it wasn't really that much of a surprise that we saw a lot of graveyard-oriented decks, such as Unchained, which has gained a lot of popularity. Rika, of course, being good because it's Europe. Uh, and Vanquish Soul, I think, was a bit of a surprise um, because of the fact that, you know, we saw our our hometown hero here, Jeremy Mitchell, take it to Worlds and do well. And of course, being able to use TC Boo in that deck is just insane, especially against Rika, where everything is a plant, basically. But I just want to make this quick video telling you, hey, this is what won the YCS. But, you know, if you're looking to go out and buy a Rika Sun Avalon Core or buy a Vanquish Soul Core, save your money. Seriously, wait until we get Age of Overlord because that will make the meta evolve. See what's doing well after the set drops October 20th, and then pick what deck it is that you want to play for this format. Or if you feel that your current deck that you're playing, whether it's branded or whatever, has a good matchup against the new cards coming out and against the current meta decks, stick with it. But just do keep in mind that don't immediately go out and start buying out cards just because it won a YCS win. The meta is most likely going to change very rapidly once we get Age of Overlord. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.